Well, good morning everybody, and it's a late good morning. It's quarter past 11. Uh, we've got very, very beautiful Dartmoor um, weather here. It's, uh, it's misty, it's blowing a gale, it's really quite unpleasant. The forecast, Yesterday was showing gusts up to 30s uh, for South Brent, which is uh, down that way. Uh, it's showing for this afternoon gusting up to 44 miles an hour in this area. In fact, there's a 46 there, South Brent, heavy rain, uh, gusting up to 46, but we're obviously going to do the correct thing and we're going to stay exactly where we are. I don't think we're going to, <laughs> I don't think we're going to blow away in this shelter and I've, I've camped on this spot enough to know that it's reasonably not sheltered. <laughs> it's not too bad here. It's not too bad. It's, um, I would be surprised if it got up to 40 odd mile an hour um here i mean south brent's you know further down i mean it's definitely quite exposed here but we've got the tail to the wind i mean if this thing can't take 40 odd mile an hour winds then we're then we're a bit stuck aren't we so i think we'll be i think we'll be fine one thing you might notice from conversations I'm sleeping with my feet to the back. Yes, I did last night. And there is a good reason. And this is why I wanted to start recording now because I'm in the process of swinging, swinging around. And, and I kind of thought, well, if I'm going to swing around, then we may as well record it as well. So we, it, it does fit lengthwise and it fits perfectly well and I'll explain in a minute why I why I move. One thing that people need to well you're quite she's quite close she's quite warm. <laughs> oh let's see. It's really not very nice out there though let's see is it? Oh, I was at the very least hoping that we would get um, <laughs> I don't know uh, maybe not too much rain <laughs> maybe not too much rain so it does fit widthwise across the the Kieron 4GT but it is oh <laughs> oh, that's, oh, ah. that's, <laughs> fuck, that's when it hurts. That's it, let's see, come back here, come back here, go back over there, come on. <laughs> that, that's when it hurts, when I'm pushing up at that angle, I can walk on it, I can kneel on it, <laughs> I, I can run after sheep on it, but I, that, that, that's the one, that's the one movement that hurts, that, that pushing up like that. Hey, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> That's the one movement that, that hurts. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> a lot apparently. So yeah, the reason the reason why <laughs> and I can lift up that way. So look, it's it's the side way. The reason why I you fit this way. Ah. <laughs> so 
So I find I'm having to kind of like use my my right leg. So yeah, so you fit this way, but obviously when you're this angle, which is perfect when you want your breakfast and you want to do something and then you want to look out the door so yes it's fine it's perfect it, it definitely works and if the weather was reasonable I probably would do it but it, but it does mean that you are closer because I think it's I think it's about two meters wide but 2.2 meters long so, you know, whilst I've not ha ever yet <laughs> had a problem with my foot end getting damp, you know, it does mean that your foot, you know, that your feet is closer to the end. I might sleep this way tonight, just as a comparison to, mind you, I was at a slight angle that way, but I might try it. Um, and then obviously if the walls do bounce in a bit on you which I don't really think they're going to do very much um, but again your head is going to be closer whereas if you're here you know I don't ever do this door up here I get I guess if it was snowing and well I don't think even if it was snowing I don't think spindrift would really get in anyway so I don't think I'd ever really do this door up unless unless I did it up to keep the bugs out and then, you know, you'd undo the, the solid part. So the, you know, the, you know, you'd have the mesh there, but I suppose I, I suppose I could bring this out in the summer when there were bugs to have a play with it and use it, but it's not really, well, it is designed for that because that's why they put it there because people, you know, anyway, you know what I mean? But generally I'd never do that up. So your head's never going to get knocked by anything there. But I don't know whether this wall here. So yes, it does work this way, but whether it's as comfortable as that way, I, I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to swing this way because I'm going to stay in camp today. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to relax in camp. I'm not doing anything. Uh, this was my day where I was going to come down here and just relax and do nothing and I woke up I think I put my head down at I can't remember if it was actually it was midnight I think it, yeah it was midnight I'm not very good at going to sleep when I'm camping at like 9 10 11 o'clock it would be in a way better maybe if I could fall asleep much earlier then I might wake up a bit earlier but anyway I woke up at eight and I thought well I'm not doing anything so I don't I don't have to wake up so there was no pressure to you know to have to get going so I put my head down again uh, well I had a cup of tea and a biscuit and then I put my head down again <laughs> the next thing I knew it was 11 o'clock and I was dreaming some really weird dreams. I don't very often dream, but I was dreaming some, I can't really remember what they were now, but I was dreaming some really weird dreams. Anyway, we're awake now. Uh, we've all been outside and just done our tiddles. Um, I did one tiddle in the porch earlier. I don't worry about tiddling in the porch. If I, if I have to, then I definitely will. Uh, so we're going to have, I think breakfast is really the next thing to do. So we're going to have breakfast. And then I want to see whether it's possible to pitch the Anan in, in here. Because we're not going to do, I was hoping to do something outside. But it's thoroughly miserable out. It's really, truly miserable um, weather out. I've checked the forecast and it's just mist and heavy rain and wind all day long, which I have to say is a little bit disappointing. I mean, it doesn't matter because I was never planning on doing anything 
but it would have been it would have been nice if we could have had a nice day down here so even if we weren't planning on anything you know i have to say it would have been it would have been nice if it could have been reasonable but we've got we've got the the worst of everything we've got high winds we've got uh wind <laughs> and not just me you know and mist you can't even see anything and it would have been one thing if it was high cloud and then rain so you could at least see something anyway so we're gonna have breakfast oh. And we're just going to chill out and relax. I've put my down jacket on. I've got my down leggings on so I can be inside, outside, any side. And un under here with the leggings on, it does get a bit, it's getting, it does get a bit warm. Um, but I've got my down jacket on so I'm nice and cosy. And apart from my rain jacket, I haven't brought any other clothes, um, you know, with me. I thought, well, I'm just going to keep, because I'm carrying this. I thought, well, I'll just keep everything, you know, as light as, as possible. I think sometime in the next hour or two, we're going to see whether we can pitch the, pitch the NN in here. <laughs> we brought the NN to pitch it, so... I was going to try and pitch the NN outside, but it's so miserable out there, you know, unless it clears up a bit later on and it's pleasant, pleasant-ish, I'm just not going to bother, I'm too lazy, I can't be bothered to fight, fight the weather and we'll, we'll get down here again, you know, with, with this in, in the spring or summer and do something else and I've also found a, a, a farm in Cheddar that has said that I can use their field to pitch lots of things so so that might be I might be able to sort of do something <laughs> do something in their field <laughs> I mean I've, I already use a field but I only like pitch like just one or two things and and if I want to do more, then it might be handy to have a <laughs> have stuff in the car. Um, so there's a possibility. I mean, the lady that I spoke to a month or two said yes. So we'll see whether that's still the case after after I said who, who I was. And <laughs> maybe she's watched the video or two and changed her mind. Okay, I've just put my bed over to one side, so we've got some room here. I've just done the, the backup because I noticed that it's got quite damp at the back there with all this heavy rain and very, very strong wind and the rear vent open, it's, it was blowing wind in through, uh, sorry, it was blowing rain in through the, the, <laughs> through the, open, the open back. So I've done the backup apart from just that very tiny bit at the top. But even with that done up, to be fair, you've still got the vent at the back is still closed. <laughs> open, I mean, the vent at the back is still open. And obviously that big flat um, thing, you know, door at the back here will absorb rain. I guess if it was too much, you might have to do the vent up a little bit at the back because obviously this back door here it's it's not waterproof and so i think if too much rain was hitting it then it probably would start to you know to soak and get in so that's just one thing you know just to bear in mind that you can leave the outside vent open <coughs> But I do think in very, very windy, heavy rain scenarios, I think you would be having to, to do it, probably not all the way up, probably 50% or something like that, just so there's 
less chance of rain getting in would probably be, you know, would probably be enough. Well, I was going to take um, a little video and a photograph from outside, but the weather's so miserable, I flattened the hilly, but the the Hilliberg N and down. It's it's behind me here, and so when it sto eventually stops raining in about an hour or two, when it stops raining a bit later, then I'll I'll do something through the door, um, you know, and try and do do some other video with it. But it's uh, it's just blowing a gale out there at, at the moment. And of course, stupidly, I didn't bring my, I didn't put my weather station in. I don't remember. I would, I would have put it in if I'd have seen it. So it must be in my other pack or something. Because it'd be interesting to know what the, what the wind speed is. But it's certainly quite, it's quite blustery. But this is holding up very nicely, I have to say you know nothing comes in it just flexes you know a little bit here and there but it certainly is nice when you've got you know this extra room here and it's not like with the um you know with the namage it kind of drops down there which is fine i mean because <laughs> You've still got plenty of room in the Namage, and it's a hell of a lot lighter. I mean, clearly this is this is an extreme tent, and you know it's not exactly <laughs> it's not exactly um, small, but I don't think it's excessively um, big. To be fair, I think it's uh, I think it's comfortably large. Make another tea, and. Watch a bit more of Fear the Walking Dead. Anyone watch uh, the Rick Grimes Walking Dead and how do we get it in the UK? And I've left the door open. There's maybe two or three or ten drops there. But you, you can actually see you can see the rain coming in the door but it's going over there it's nowhere near me if anything the dog's getting wet over there not that she cares <laughs> you see this is another reason why i don't bother with a footprint because you know, I can cook down there. I don't need to do the door up. Can you imagine if you had a footprint? You know, you, your footprint would get soaked and you couldn't leave your door open. So the irony, the irony there are these people that say that the, foot, that the footprint reduces condensation, but then you have to do the door up because if it rains, your footprint's going to get wet. So you're probably going to get damper from the damp air with the door up because you've got the footprint down than not having the footprint in the first place and leaving the door open to let more air flow through. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to have another cup of tea and it's two o'clock and <laughs> it's, it's quite breezy out there. It's fairly quiet. I've noticed, I've noticed sometimes that you get a, uh, like a whack sound, um, if, if like a gust catches some material from somewhere or other but not too often it's very <laughs> it's very nice in here it's just nice to be able to spread you know everything out and not uh and not worry 
about anything. <laughs> oh, is he? Oh. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna. It's a little family unit. <laughs> oh God. We're gonna go and get. We're gonna leave the. Uh, look at the size of that thing. We're gonna leave the Kieran there, and we're gonna head down and get some water. Certainly different to yesterday. It's very, very, <laughs> it's very wet compared to yesterday. Oh, oh my goodness, that, is, uh, that water's flowing, <laughs> flowing a bit, uh, a bit quicker than yesterday. Ooh. Uh, and at least it's, uh, Oh, it stopped raining for the minute anyway. It's one advantage of a nice, fast flowing water source like this. It fills your water up quickly. Oh, come on, Lassie, you don't want to get soaked again today. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Go on. I don't think it really matters if you get wet, Bassie. <laughs> Go on then. Steady mind, Lizzie. Go on then. Go on then. Go on then. Go on then. <laughs> Lassie. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know how windy it is, but it's quite, but it's definitely quite windy. And it's, uh, it's not having, it's not having a huge impact on it. I must admit it's pretty, uh, pretty wind resistant. <laughs> I mean, this is probably in the twenties to be fair. Oh. But we've pitched it well, cause it's right tail to the wind, so. So someone wanted a, a size comparison. So here you are for size comparison on the outside. What I do notice in this very, very strong wind is the door flap here. It does flap quite a lot. Uh, and then it does expose the the zip under there, but it's obviously, you know, it's, it's a tried and tested design, so you can barely uh, criticize the fact that, you know, that is, that's that. I mean, you know, it's been heavy rain and no rain has got through. And it's, uh, these pegs have stood up well. I must admit, I should have put in, um, Eastern pegs, but these standard pegs have, have held fine. It hasn't, it hasn't really, it hasn't really sagged. It's still, it's still pretty tight. It's done well with the, with everything. And that, that is the Enan, <laughs> can't see it very well, but that's the Enan pitched inside the Kiran. Oh. Welcome to, welcome to evening camp. We're just chilling out, 
as one does in their Kieran 4GT in camp it's blowing a gale still but I have to say this is pretty stable this is pretty stable it doesn't move very much at all you know it's um I don't know how strong the wind is I mean to be fair it's not you know it's not a hurricane it's in the 20s high teens 20s something like that but it's uh it does I have to say it doesn't move very much it's been a miserable day I've done almost nothing we had a little mess around putting the Anan up here um, but I haven't done anything I haven't done anything else it's been a, a very very quiet just a very relaxing camp this one so there's really been very, very little to say or report or anything. We will have soon, it's only, I mean, I see it's only, it's half past six. What we've got here, and we'll have it soon, is Christmas turkey and roast potatoes dehydrated, and then vegetables there. So we're going to, Probably gonna probably have that soonish. I'll probably put it on soon. I'm watching Fear the Walking Dad. Uh, season eight is is really good. Um, it started off very good, Fear the Walking Dad, and then it just went downhill, and it just was boring. It just wasn't very interesting. And then I thought, well. I'll stick with it and see. And yeah, season eight is really, really good. I just, just annoying that you can't watch any of the other ones in the UK, which just seems ridiculous. But anyway, like I said, we're just chilling out. It's not exactly been the most exciting of video series to make for you this, this trip, because we are just relaxing. And there's, you know, I was, I was hoping to have I would have pitched the Anan outside, but it's just so, I just didn't feel like it. It's so miserable. I'll bring the Anan another time. This is just, <laughs> it's, it is nice to, it is nice just to sit up in camp like that. You can't beat a big one. That's what, but I, I mean, that's why I say, that's why I like the Trail Star or the, the Duo Mid XL and that type of thing, because then you've got plenty of space. So the, the Namaj 2 was uh, was really, really nice, or is very, very nice. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I do my food soon. So that is dried roast potatoes. Basically, it's roast potatoes chopped up into into little bits and that is turkey Ooh, I think I've got a lot there <laughs> so that is turkey and roast potato and then in this bag here, veggies. E. In that bag there, we've got veggies. Let's see. Okay. I think I need more water. <laughs> oh, let's see. That's my Christmas dinner. I did my Christmas dinner and then I and then I dehydrated it. You want a Christmas dinner? Yeah, Christmas din dins for little Lassie. And Lizzie. <laughs> Christmas dinner for little Lizzie. Look <laughs> at your little wet nose. Are you see that? Alright, well we'll come back. <laughs> the family gathering will be back. Let's have a look at this. Mm. 
Hmm, that's not bad. Proper bits of uh, proper bits of turkey and everything. Hmm. Good old weather is back again. It's uh, on and off, just heavy showers. I don't know whether you can see it or or not, but there's a lot of. If I kind of try and shine the. There's a lot of mist in the tent, you know, because it's quite damp. There's, there is mist floating in front of my torch. So I don't know whether the camera is picking that up. But what I want you to notice, and that is that, you know, there's a couple of damp patches, but the floor is pretty dry. We're dry. The inner's obviously dry. I also want you to notice that the fly is also, for the best part, dry. You know, is you know, it's marginally damp, and I want you to look at how wet everything is. That wall over there, that's particularly damp because rain's just coming in the door and you know, whacking into that wall there. You know, it's it's for the most part. You know, there is some. There is some condensation up there.